Good morning, everyone. We're back. It is about 8 a.m. I am heading to Magic Kingdom. Park opens for resort guests at 8.30, so I'll be a little early. I don't know if they let you in early with resort guests or not, so we will see. I'm coming in early. It's our last day. Uh, just to film some TikToks, take some pictures, because we do have late night here tonight. So, Chris and Bradley are still sleeping. I came early to beat the heat and not staying long, just to do some last minute stuff that I haven't done, uh, picture and filming wise. And yeah, so you might not see me until later, unless I have like something to show you, maybe I'll show you what time we get in and all that. But I literally didn't bring anything with me. My fanny pack, nothing, not my lanyard, nothing. So I'm going in just to do do that and then I'm leaving. So it's 8 time, these are the lines to get in. They are letting in. Have you ever seen an empty emporium? Oh, well, come at 8 time. <laughs> And I'm heading to my little cove that no one ever goes to for pictures. It's literally always empty, so I'm able to film as many TikToks and take as many pictures as I want without anyone coming over. It's right here. They have them on each side of the castle. So I go to this one usually. See, and no one ever is back here. And I just prop my phone up and I take a bunch of videos. Four. It is incredibly hot out today. I've been here a half hour and I'm actually a little long and they let us in early. So I've been here like 45 minutes and I'm dripping. So getting a Starbucks and probably not last too much longer. <laughs> the rocking chair is back, but there's only one. So luckily it's just me too. So the, the seat hasn't been here for a while. Everyone kept saying like, oh, the rocking chairs are gone, but one is here, but only one. And it's because I knew my mom and dad weren't coming, so I took away the chair until they come back. Because it's usually me, mom, or me and dad sitting here. And they knew it was only me, so they're saving it until next time. But uh, the humidity dropped a lot. When I first got here and I was dripping with sweat, it was like 93% humidity. And last I checked, it was like 76. So it feels much better. <laughs> of course, always when you're first entering, it's like 1,000 degrees. Uh, but it's about 10.30, I was gonna go on People Mover, but it kept going down, like it was down for like the first hour, and then it finally went back up, so I went and got online, but as I was online, it kept going down literally every five seconds, and I, I can't deal with, with, with that. <laughs> uh, so, maybe later tonight, it'll be up and running. Jumped on the omnibus, it was right by the castle, and I wanted to leave, so it was perfect. It's an empty bus, so I sat in the back, so I could still get the view of the front of the castle. So as we're leaving, we are heading right into Steakhouse 71 for lunch. Just made it about an hour and a half ago. Uh, kind of, not really. Nope. Oh, the salad or the crab cakes? Crab cakes. I know, but the salad is so good. Bradley mm -hmm. right, got the cheeseburger and apples. And then me and Krista both got the French onion soup. And I got the Caesar salad fork and knife. And Krista got the crab cakes. Yes. Fish lunch at Steakhouse 71. Last minute as I was coming home from Magic Kingdom. Chris was like, let's just go eat there. So I made a reservation within like an hour and a half. Caesar salad was good. Um, $10, so it's a good price. The French onion soup was so salty, and I love salt. Like, I put salt on everything, too much of it, but I couldn't even finish it. Like, that's how salty this was. So for me to say that, that's bad, because I love salt. But I couldn't finish it. I was like, I can't do it. It's not edible. <laughs> Kristen, I know she loved her crab cakes. She was talking about it. So 
so back in the room it's like 1 30 we're gonna pack and get ready we have our flight in the morning and then we're gonna head into magic kingdom later today we're at magic kingdom we're at magic kingdom for our last day up uh, last park day well probably be your last day it is 6 27 and it is crowded <laughs> Cosmic Rays, the lines for pickup is just as long as ordering. Crazy. I wrote that I was here as we were walking for People Mover and still not called yet. Been. Small World is a walk on. Uh, Peter Pan says it's 30 minutes, but I don't think it's going to be, so we're gonna go do that because we haven't done that since the beginning of the show. So, check back to see how long we wait. Walk on. I know. It's very dirty in there. Oh, it's because Peter's here right now. Basically a walk-on, right where the lightning wing meets. We got right online at 9 o'clock, right when the fireworks were starting. And it took five minutes, aka most of the walk through. So if you're here multiple days, do the fireworks one day, and then the ride the other day, or if you're not a fireworks, and dinner at Cosmic Rays was a shit show. I love Cosmic Rays, I love my man Sunny Eclipse, but you can't even sit near him anymore. Like, we're always like in a corner. And I said I was here when we were still on People Mover and it still took like a half hour for them to call me. And then, and then I was, the line for mobile order pickup was so long so our food was frozen by the time we got it. it I, it's always just a mess whenever we go there. So, Sunny, I love you, but I can't, I can't do it anymore. And this is a plea to Disney and Magic Kingdom. There's like nowhere to get water in this park. Especially after everything closes for the night, like all the restaurants. It's like impossible to get water. And even the restaurants is hard to because it's, none of them are the self-serve. So to get, especially during crowded times, to get someone to attention and like I don't want to take away from people waiting for their food, it's like so hard to get water here. The water refills that we have tried have all been so warm and gross. So like it's just so hard to get water. They need to get better refill stations or have the jugs and water easily accessible because like I'm dying of thirst right now and you can't get water anywhere, especially that it's park closed. <laughs> so, 9.52, park closes in less than 10 minutes, and this is the crowd at the monorail. Woof! Oh, it keeps going. What is this? Oh, that's the boat. And the boat. So, good thing we are right across the street, so we are walking. And today is actually deluxe hours from 11, 10 to 12. Ah, so it's about 10, so... But we have an early flight in the morning. It's time for bed. I basically uh, packed everything, just have to do the last minute things. And yeah, we, it's very crowded today. So the past few days have been hot and crowded. We lucked out the first week of the, the trip. It was so cool that I was like cold at night and it was not crowded. So we got a lot done that side of the trip. Anything you want to add? I'm actually kind of happy now. Repeat after me. What? Uh, what? You I interrupted missed... me. I I just missed out so much. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. Do not leave that park closed, no matter what. Just don't do it. Yeah, like when, especially if you are, drove or something. Just even if you're not deluxe hours, you'll just sit, shop, or do something. Just sit and let the crowd 
unless you can walk back. If right. you can walk to the Ticket and Transportation Center, then walk back. You can by going Grand Floridian. So when you exit out, you're gonna go right and you can walk all the way around. Do that rather than be in that, like feeling everybody's body heat, everybody on top of each other, everybody melting down, trying to squeeze onto a monorail or onto a ferry boat. You're gonna stand online anyway. I think I've said this in the past. Just walk back and you'll not be near anybody and it'll be so much easier. Just do it. Yeah. Cause look at the lines, for even for the buses. Yes, uh, it's crazy. Crazy. So, that, that's it. But today was our last night. It was. It was a good trip. It was. Just the three of us. Was it a good trip? Yeah, baby. Which did you like better, yacht or contemporary? Contemporary. Ooh. I like them both. The only bad thing about yacht is the food court. Yeah. Like even their Mickey waffles, waffles were gross. But I liked having the split stay because we were, we were able to focus on Epcot and Hollywood Studios more. And then the second half of the trip was more Magic Kingdom. So that way you had walking distance for both. So. Yep. So I, sorry, I'm no longer a bus girl. I can't do the bus anymore. Can't do it. I hate it. <laughs> A bus like that's like a five minute ride becomes like 20 minutes. I'm like, oh my goodness. Can't, can't do it no more. <laughs> um, Pretty yeah. good job. <laughs> Tell my boss to give me a raise. <laughs> but yeah, so back home in the morning. Back to Jersey. Yep, in 12 hours we'll be back in New Jersey. Yay! <laughs> Excited to see my kitty cats and my parents. So gonna end it there so with that i say good night everyone till our what? next trip no at the airport we're not no we're not going to so say goodbye <laughs>